In the last lesson, we created the movement logic for our enemy to follow our player well in range around the scene. In this lesson, we'll create the logic for our enemy to attack the player during the game. The first thing we need to do is create a cannon on the enemy from which we will shoot our bullets. Create an empty object that is a child of the enemy game object by right clicking on the enemy in the hierarchy and selecting create empty. Open the enemy script in Visual Studio and let's add a public game object for our bullet and a public transform for the location of our cannon. Next let's create a void function named shoot. In this function, let's first check if the player is within a defined range. If the player is within our defined range, then let's shoot the bullet using the instantiate function. Next we can delete the target log pool we created in the last video and simply move the isTargetInRange function to the if statement in the fixedUpdate function. Lastly, use the invoke repeating function to call the shoot function using a random range to set the delay and frequency. This way, when we add more enemies to our scene, each will act differently from one another. Return to Unity and attach the bullet game object and the cannon location to the newly created variables in our enemy script. Let's also rotate the gun barrel on the Z axis 180 degrees so that it faces the forward direction of our enemy ship. Now let's test our game and observe the enemy following the player intermittently shooting at them. In the next lesson we will set up the collision handler for when our bullet strikes another game object. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the content we release daily. Thanks for watching.